We've all encountered the empty, empty shelves at the grocery stores lately or have had a hard time finding toilet paper in the past week or two. Well, supermarkets say there's not a problem in the supply chain. It's simply hard to keep up with the shoppers' panicked reaction to coronavirus. Those workers certainly doing their best. CBS 4's Jamie Leary spent the day with a Safeway manager. Jamie, sounds like he's starting to see yeah, maybe a little light at the end of the tunnel. Absolutely, and they've implemented exciting new changes like starting tomorrow, every Tuesday and Thursday. The first two hours of shopping from 7 to 9 will be reserved for those most at risk and not just those over 60. Others, like expectant mothers, which is exciting news for customers, but employees here, they are still at high risk. And uh, recently, the United Food and Commercial Workers Union sent a letter to Governor Polis asking for more protections for them, like gloves and masks. Until then, they're powering through proudly and say support from each other and the community has been instrumental. Employees are happy to comply with the announcement. Every hour, they're asked to stop and sanitize. Employees have been fantastic, working overtime, you know, keeping the nose to the grindstone so we can uh, take care of our community. Mike Nealon is the assistant manager. He's worked for Safeway since 1987 and he's never seen panic shopping to this extreme. Never. No, I have not. Part of his job is to see that nothing is out of place, and lately it's been hard to fill in all the holes. See, these uh, freezers are pretty wiped out. But with no interruption to the supply chain after a week and none expected down the road... It seems to be getting better with time. Toilet paper is still low, but... You know, we were out of eggs today. We have eggs, we have milk, so yeah. we're happy. You know, we're doing our best. The hours are long, and despite sanitizing, employees are in close contact with customers. But the customers have noticed. This week, someone placed a thank you note on the door for anyone to sign. It's nice working with people that really care about you, and it's not just a job. So that's what's going on here. The new announcement that they would have hours for those at risk, just another way they hope to help their community. Are you tired, Mike? Uh, well, come, come and check with me at <laughs> midnight, I might be. Not now. I'm raring to go. In addition to creating hours for those at risk, they're also changing their own hours. They're closing early and will be open daily from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. We're live in Golden, Jamie Leary, covering Colorado First. Thank you, Jamie. Some grocery stores are also trying to accommodate shoppers who may be more at risk for the virus. That means hours reserved for certain shoppers, including those 60 and older. We have all that information at CBSDenver.com.